Hey everybody, I'm Ellis K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hanani and the Widow Recklehouse. And I wanted to show you a book that I've recently put out. This is for setting quarterly goals and keeping track of them and keeping track of your progress on them. Now, this is not a calendar. Let me just say that right away. It's not a calendar. I hate setting up my goals with a calendar <laughs> because you know what? I have other things on my calendar. I have things like doctor appointments and appointments for lunch with a friend and stuff. And um, it's just too distracting for me. I need some place that's specifically for just my goals and for my quarter. So I, I did this for myself. And then I realized, you know what, this would probably be helpful to other people too. And so I went ahead and published it. So, um, and I didn't put my name on it for some reason. <laughs> I just put threshold of Hanani. So if you search my name on Amazon, you're not going to find it, but I'll put the link down below. So this has on the front, I love the quarter, the cover. I had so much fun putting this cover together. There's a place for the dates. Um, so, or, you're, or you could just put like quarter number four or something, but not everybody does their quarters like January through March and so on and so forth. Some people do um, like September through November and things like that. And that's actually, I'm thinking of changing mine too. So it doesn't go with the calendar year because that doesn't work as well for me. But, um, but if I do some things online about it, I will keep it to the regular calendar quarters. Um, anyway, so it has a place for the dates so that you can tell one from another. And I'm hoping to do some with other covers. I have to talk to Amazon about that and make sure that's okay, but I think it is. Um, Cause it, you might wanna have a different cover for each quarter or if you're a guy, you might not like the flowers. I don't know, you might, it's very nature looking. Um, so, and then your top three goals that you're gonna be working on, or you could make it like six or something. And then on the back is kind of fun, your top strengths, these are kind of for encouragement. They're your resources, your top strengths, your four great friends, your mission statement, because all your goals should fit your mission statement and your keywords, okay? Inside, um, I first have you write down what your mission statement is for this point in your life and your spiritual mission statement, your family relational mission statement, your business and work mission statement. And then in all those areas, you have places where you can set up your goals. You do not have to use all of those places. In fact, I recommend that you don't, or if you do, you just have one goal in each of those places because it could become a lot of goals and that can become overwhelming. So you have the opportunity to set up and I, I give you space for three objectives in each of those areas um, for the quarter. And then each week you have goals that you come up with from those objectives. What's the next step that you need to take to meet those objectives? And even if you set a goal for each one of those areas, on a particular week, you might not be working on all those areas. You choose which areas you need to work on. And um, I'm thinking of doing a video series about this to work through this together and to give you some pointers and some ideas and stuff. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it. If if there's, if somebody expresses interest in it, then I definitely will do it. But otherwise um, I might do it, I might not. So it just kind of depends on what I've got going on and how much interest I think there is. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but let me tell you this. I have found a lot of times I go, oh, I can just do that on my own, but then I don't. I can, but I don't. If I do it as a class or I pay money for a workbook or something, I'm so much more likely to do things. So I would really, I'm not just saying that to sell books, but you know, if, if you see another, another method that you like better, go for it. But I, but I do think if you put money into something, you're more likely to do it. Or if you're taking a class on it or something, then you're more likely to do it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about doing this as a series, because I think that that would help you. And this is, one of my things, because you guys know that, that my main job in life is to help people be who God's calling them to be. Okay. And I think that setting goals is a really important part of that because that helps us to do things intentionally, to do things on purpose and not just like, oh, la di da, I'm, you know, merrily, 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 <laughs> you know, <laughs> and not actually, well, you know, I might get something accomplished for God. I might, you know, whatever it is, whether it's praying or whether it's, you know, starting a ministry or doing stuff in your job or just having a better marriage, it's best to be intentional about it. 
it's best to do that with the help of the Holy Spirit. And so that's what we're getting at through this. Now, this isn't specifically Christian. If you're not a Christian, this will be just as helpful for you. Um, however, if you are a Christian, the videos will fit you a lot more. They'll, they'll fit anybody, but I will be talking about scriptural principles and um, how important the Holy Spirit is in certain things and everything too. So, um, so the videos will be definitely much more Christian. So anyway, tell me what you think. I'm going to have the link to this below and um, oh and also <clears throat> just for fun you don't have to do this the book is fine as it is but I like to have tabs and I found tabs that are the right colors for this book isn't that cool <laughs> so I'll have the link for those below they're just a little bit more expensive than like your normal tabs so you don't you don't have to get these ones you don't have to get any tabs but I am going to do probably the next video in this series is going to be setting your book up with tabs and a few other extras that you absolutely do not have to have. But, you know, I'm not a leave well enough alone kind of person. I have to add all those extras for myself. So anyway, what I'm thinking about if I do a series is having a time when we work through our mission statements and we work through the process of setting up your goals from those objectives and stuff. And I will share with you specifically what mine are. And so you can use that as an example. And if you have any questions, then I'll be able to answer those. So um, I'm not sure if I'll do it live or if I'll do it pre-recorded, probably pre-recorded, but let me know if you're interested and if you'd rather have it live or pre-recorded and um, just things like that and what you're looking for, what you need help with and stuff. Um, Cause if there's interest then like I said, I'll definitely do it. Otherwise I might do it just for people for in the future. All right. Anyway, that's it. Again, I'll put the links for both of these below. And um, if I have any other links, it seemed like there were some other links that I wanted to put for you to kind of help get your mind cogitating. Cog, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. Get your mind moving in that direction, percolating. All right. I think I did cognitive and percolating together. <laughs> all right. I will talk to you later. I love you all. See you later. Bye-bye.